Thanks, Sophie. Coming up on BBC London tonight. We're on the River Thames. We have a special report looking at the impact of the amount of plastic that's now in our river. We hear how the River Thames has the worst microplastic pollution levels in the world. Wet wipes are the biggest culprits. Also ahead this evening. The family of a man who died after being tasered by the Met on Chelsea Bridge are launching legal action against the police watchdog investigating his death. Plus... It's the longest platform on the Elizabeth Line. 253 metres long, I'm told. We take a look inside the newest station on the Elizabeth Line, ahead of its opening next week. And... Hi, I'm Joe Wicks at a school in Guildford, Surrey, as part of the BBC Share Your Stories tour. And I'm here to share my story, my childhood, my journey and my career to hopefully inspire the next generation of kids. Good evening and welcome to the programme. I'm Victoria Hollins. First tonight, it's visible throughout the capital, the plastic pollution clogging up our waterways. And now it's thought the River Thames has the worst microplastic pollution levels in the world. These tiny particles are formed when plastic breaks down and then enters the ecosystem. Well, our reporter Guy Lynn joins me now with more on the plastic pollution in our waterways. Guy. Victoria, thank you very much indeed. Well, microplastics are plastic fragments or particles that are less than five millimetres, so absolutely tiny. And plastic that's dumped in the river breaks down and that makes its way into the food chain. Well, still to come this evening. Find out how this country house in Essex is linked to the BBC and its 100th anniversary and how you can come along to see it. And despite the rather chilly start first thing this morning today, the temperatures got up into the high teen Celsius. Will it stay warm? I'll have the full forecast. Well, as you may have heard, the BBC is celebrating its 100th anniversary today. As part of the centenary celebrations, there have been a number of special visits to schools around the country to help pupils achieve their career goals and inspire them to realise their potential. Today, the fitness coach, Joe Wicks, has been to see students in Guildford and we went along as well. Joe Wicks there. Well, to coincide with the BBC's birthday, an interactive map has been created, highlighting the people, places and buildings that have defined the BBC's history. Well, our reporter Alison Earle is in Essex tonight at one of the locations. Alison, tell us where you are. In the mid to the high teens Celsius, so above average for the time of year, Victoria. And I'm very pleased to hear that, Kate. Thank you very much indeed. OK, that's about it from me and the rest of the team in here, our new home in Broadcasting House. Do head over to our website, though, to find out, amongst other things, why a shopping centre in one of the busiest stations in London is nearly deserted. But for now, from all of us here on the team, whatever you're doing, do enjoy your evening and we'll see you at 10.30. Bye for now. <laughs>